All right. So what I set up for you is basically the same system as I explained before, like setting up a blog. And but I customized the blog so that all you have to do to create a new webinar is fill out some form, uh, fill out a form, fill out fields. And that's it. And um, there's one part that might be a little bit tricky, so I might have to help you with that a few times, and that's just setting up the forms because each form is unique. Um, and in order to have the styling, you're going to basically have to just do some copy and paste of some code. And the only thing you'll have to change is the number. And I'll walk you through that. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so first off, so this new menu item here on your website is called Courses. So this is... Oh, am I not sharing the screen? Okay, sorry, I thought I did that already. Let's see, Loom, hold on. Okay, I didn't set up the screen. Okay, so, can you screen now? Set up. That's kind of, you know, okay, there we go. Okay, so this menu item here now, courses, this is basically a new, blog <clears throat> it's set up the same way so like if you click on it you'll be taken to an archive page and these so far I, I just created three um core you know three posts so these are posts so when you click on the post it now takes you in and now it looks just like your flyer okay now all of this you can and I'm going to show you, you're going to, you're going to, you think you like it? You think you like it now? Wait, <laughs> wait till I show you. And here's your form down here. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk you through setting one up from scratch. So you go to the dashboard now. Okay. Okay, so now you see how you have posts here? Below it, you have webinars. And this is basically the same exact procedure as if you were adding a blog post. Okay, but this one's called webinars, and you got your little icon there on the left of tickets. Okay, so you go to all webinars, and now you'll see basically your posts. So these are posts. Okay, so um, online course, the date it was created, title tag, and now meta description. This is going to be important, and I'll explain to you why in a second. So, the you know, so you should always include your meta description in here, just so you can keep track of the date, unless you want the date in the title, and I don't think you do, just because the design-wise it looks silly. All right. So, what you do is you come over here, add, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up. Uh, let's ignore that. I'm going to set up. I'm going to do this. All right, because I don't want to do any uh, typing. I'm just going to do copy and paste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate one of these. I'm going to recreate uh, this one. Okay. So, so now you're in here. So what you do is you add your title. So I'm just going to copy this. So, you, you know, if you were starting this from scratch, brand new one, you would just type your thing in there. And then um, you say it's a draft. And at this point, you can go in there and you can edit your meta title. So you could add the date. Let's just call it, you know, June um, 4th for now. Yeah, we're going to. Oh, okay. Okay. But I mean, we're going to, you know, this is just, a, this is just a, a, a sample. So we can throw this one away or you could keep it. So now you have your meta title and you don't have your date in here. All right, so then the next thing you want to do is your webinar date. You ready for this? Click in there and you get a calendar. So now if you go down to June, pick June 20th, and you're done. So now, now you have webinar, now you have images. And this is where um, this is going to be real convenient for you. So when you do um, the Ace Your Online interview where you only have one image in the middle, so here, let's let's go check this out for a second, real quick. Um, so if you have Ace your online video or Ace your online interview, you only have one image here, okay? 
here you have three images. You're gonna be able to do either way with the form I set up for you here. Okay, so if you're doing, since this one is mastering the art of storytelling and you have three images on there. So what you do is you click here, add image. And now the thing to remember is you have webinar main image. Webinar main image is this one right here in the middle, okay? Now you also, now, and there's three, items associated with each one of these. You have the image, you have the instructor, and then you have the info, okay? Now you have over here, webinar left image, left instructor, left info, okay? And then right image, right instructor, right info. If you were just doing ACE your, ACE your online interview with one image, you would only add the image to the middle I mean, to the main image, you would just add main image, main, and then and then leave these two blank because you don't have any information below this, so that stays. So this one, you have information below, so you have instructor and you have info. All right. I know. I I got. I just noticed that now. I got to fix that. I got to fix that. That's 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 simple enough to fix. Um, that's in the template. Okay. Okay. No, this is uh, this is called these are these are what's called advanced custom fields and custom post types. So the custom post type is your webinar. So that's creating the new blog roll. And then advanced custom fields is all of this stuff in here that I created. And I can show you where I did that, but it's stuff you should never really have to worry about. It's, it's just. Yeah. OK, so since we're doing mastery, so you got three images in here, so let's just plop in the images. So main image is going to be you. So we do that. And uh, the um, zoom window is interfering. Let me move that over there. Select. So now we got that. Now instructor. I'm just going to come here, copy your name. Paste it in there. And then your information. Paste it in there. Now Left image, uh, she goes to the left, copy her name. Paste her in there, copy her info. So it's just gonna be a lot of repetitive stuff for you. You don't have to think, okay? Now, right image, select image, and putting her in there. Now we copy her name. Whoops. Put her name in there. Copy her title or info and put her in there. Okay. Now below that webinar course lead in text. And I put a little example, I put a little explanation in here. So for example, in this 60 minute session. Okay. So um, since that's what we're going to put in there. In the 16-minute session, you will learn. Okay, and now let's copy this. I'm going to fix this. This this looks ugly all the way to the left. All right, so we can put that in there. And this is just like a regular um, text editor that you've probably seen in WordPress all the time. So that's, you know, you can format stuff in here. So what I would recommend doing on this is getting rid of the bullets and centering it. You can change that. We could, you know, let's, we could work on that later. Now, no, that gets, conf that, that's going to get tricky and that would require, um, you know, every situation would be different. So you would have to customize stuff. I'm trying to make this as plug and play as possible. So the only thing you have to focus on and think about is your end of the deal. So meaning focus on your webinars, focus on your, your delivery, and don't worry about this. Okay, now down here, webinar, meet your instructor title. So that's this text right here. So you can put whatever you want in there, um, but for this case, we can put this. So like, for example, meet your instructors, but let's say the next webinar is just you by yourself. You can just take the S out. Okay. All right. Now meet your instructors text. Copy and paste this. 
in here. And again, you have another um, text editor. So if you want to, you can come in here, you can center it, you can flush it left. But I did a lot of this styling in the template, so you don't really have to worry about that either. But let's just say you wanted to like bold this word here, you can come in here, highlight it and bold it. Um, let's say you wanted to make something a link, like say you wanted to link to uh, Kimmin's website, you could add a link to it, okay? If you wanted to. Okay, so that's that. Now, here we go, time. Ready for this? Click and hold, choose your time. 10 a.m., select. 11 a.m., select. 12 p.m., select. And 1 p.m., select, okay? And that's it. Now we got to get the form in here. And this is where things are going to get a little bit tricky. And, and I might have to help you with this as we go forward. Um, we haven't created a form yet for this, this one here on um, June 20th. So I'm just going to put a different one in there. Yeah. So this is where the sign up form is going to go. Okay. So the way you do that is uh, let's go over here. Okay. Go to the dashboard. Okay, we're at the dashboard. Fluent forms, all forms. And for this example, I'm going to pick out um, May 21st, okay? So this is the form that you're going to put in there. What you do is you come over here to the second column, click to copy it. So where it says fluent form ID equals one. So you, all you have to do is click it and it copies it automatically. Come back over here. Put that in there, and now you're good to go. Your form's in there, okay? Now, in order to see this, this is important to do also. Um, let's see, where is it? Online courses. See this thing over here on the right where it says online courses? Because right now, if you previewed this, you wouldn't see anything. You'd just see the title, and that's it, okay? You have to click interview, okay? Save draft. Because what I'm doing, just in case in the future you want to add more stuff, this is just a way to keep your website organized and keep your styles organized. So I had to create, so I have a, a style sheet or a style form set up for your blog role. This one I had to create a second one for, all right? Because so, so you, you can have as many different posts as you want, like many different um, uh, post types as you want. And you can assign your style sheets specifically to a certain page or to a certain a certain post. So this is just to keep that organized. So if in the future we create another one, I can create another style sheet and then I can target that specific um, uh, blog post. Okay, so this is just a way of keeping it organized. All right, so we save it. Now come back, back over here. Now you got it. So this is everything we just entered. Okay. Scroll down here, Saturday, June 20th. Start time here at your times that we entered. Here's your 60 minute session about your instructor. And here's your form. But now you see your form is not styled, right? You still there, Madeline? Okay. Because this is, this is, this is not, this is just a generic, this is not on your brand. So if you come over to this one right here, and you look at this form down here, see how it's styled? With your hover and your, your number is large and in blue. Over here, that's not the case, okay? So I set up some, S, uh, some CSS code to make that happen. So over here, I put in fluent form ID number one. So fluent form ID number one is this one right here. So what you gotta do is I put some CSS code in this one right here. So you click on settings, come over to custom CSS. So you see all this code in here, just um, highlight it. It's not that daunting, watch. Copy it, go back to all forms, come back to the form that you want to, uh, to style, go to settings. Well, we haven't created a form for June 20th yet, have you? Anyway. Okay, then you paste it in here, okay? Still not gonna work yet. 
And here's, here's why I mean you just have to change one number. See where it says up here on the top, custom CSS, and then it says you may add dot fluent underscore form underscore one. All you got to do is come down here where it says fluent form number nine, change that nine to a one, and do, do that on all of them. Scroll down on all of them. So that's just identifying this individual form, this specific form, okay? Then you come up here to this blue button, not this blue button, but this blue button here, the second one where it says save CSS and JS, hit save. Now from over here, refresh this page. You see the styles are applied to the form, okay? All right, now uh, let's see, we don't have, did you create a form? You didn't create a, a, a June 20th form, did you? Yeah, so there isn't a form yet created for June 20th. Um, so once you create a form for June 20th, then that'll be added to this list here of, you know. Yeah, okay, whatever it is, whatever your next, whatever your next um, webinar is, and you create a form for it. So you have to create a separate, you have to create a new form every time you create a new uh, webinar in order to collect the appropriate data and have it delivered to the right mailing list on MailerLite. Okay, so um, so there you are, there you go. Okay, so, so, so now if you uh, if you were doing this for like Acer online interview and there was only one picture, um, like I said, you would you wouldn't put anything like main like webinar main instructor and main info. You would leave you just leave it blank. You can leave you can leave some of these fields blank. I don't think I, the only ones I made mandatory are webinar date and webinar main image. Everything else, if you left it blank, nothing would happen. The form, you know, you'd be able to create it. And um, oh wait, the, the times I made mandatory also, but I can change that. I can I can get rid of that if you want. They don't have to be mandatory if you don't want them to be. I mean, you could add a whole calendar of times if you want to. I mean, that would, it would get a little cluttered, but, but I mean, the way it's set up right now, you can't do that. Um, and I'll, sh and I'll just. Hold on, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. I, uh, there was a little commotion behind me. And also in the post itself, I would give uh, URL to 